Okay, Hades Omega here. Um, I'm headed towards uh, another little lake. There's another little lake ahead of me, and then I'll go to Aokigahara. Um, I'm just trying to salvage what I can, you know. I'm just trying to clear some uh, some uh, some stuffs. It's hmm, weird. It's just for me to go right. Don't I want to go left? Well, there's another little lake ahead of here. It's not far. It's six kilometers. So that was a uh, Mototsu, Mototsu Lake, something like that. <laughs> um, I'm really bad with names. Yamanakako. Oh, Yamanakako. That's a. Uh, it's like the last lake. From Mitsubishi Delica. Man, that thing's so high, man. That thing is made for like uh, stuff. That's like the first V-Strom I've seen in uh, Japan, I think. Four wheel drive. There it is. I'm stuck on this light here that goes to 139. Um, and it's almost 5 o'clock, and my body's telling me, hey, man, it's 5 o'clock. I don't want to ride anymore. <laughs> Just like last year, right? It's funny. Uh, the sun is nearly gone. Damn it. I know. There's another lake not too far from here. So I think we can do it. I think we can. I think we can. Come on. After that, that'll probably be it, you know. And then I can try to do some stuff tomorrow morning and then, and then head back. You know? I'm supposed to be back at 10, though. So. All right. So I'm, I'm riding on what's called uh, the Fuji Panorama Line. So, so what basically it means is it goes around Mount Fuji is what it is. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely the road that I want to be taking. It's a nice road. I like it. It's like a, kind of like a, I don't know, it's not a, it's definitely not like a forest toge, but it's just like a, you know, it's a in the forest, it's a pass is what it is, but not like a mountain pass, you know? All right, so I'm running out of time. Oh, oh, no, wait, we're close, we're very close. Very close. Shoji. Is that where I wanted to go? Oh shit, I missed it. Okay. I took the wrong turn, but I uh, went back and I did the thing. Is that it? What a weak little lake, man. <laughs> man. We can just ride around it, man. I think uh, Lake Shoji is not very impressive at all. I'm saying just go. Oh my god. Kind of scary. It is a one lane. Well, what the hell? Is there like any place to stop around here? <laughs> Dude, we're just blazing through this section. Oh, that was just a tiny little lake. the real lake right here. Oh, cool. Let's go down there and take a picture. Uh, yeah, right 
right here. <laughs> Alright, so this is Lake Shoji here, and you can- oh shit, is that a beach? That looks like a beach, I don't think we should go down there. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, let me uh, let me recon it. This looks okay to go down. Hmm, it, might, it may be a beach, and I don't want to get this bike stuck in the sand. Let's check it out. Uh, it told me not to do any off-roading in it, but it's okay. Got ABS. No, it's not sand. It's good. Oh, well, look, you can camp here. There's people camping here, I think. Ooh. Alright, so like right here is cool. Drive right up next to the water. It's a nice little lake town. Uh, Alright, so it's like, it's pretty much dark already. Oh. Alright. I'm not sure, but I think that's another way out. I got it, I got it, I got it, yeah. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Alright, pretty much have to go back the way we came. Oh, no, no, we don't go back the way we came. And it wants us to go the other way. Okay, so it wants us to go around this side of the lake, so we're gonna go wind up going around the lake, so that's kinda cool. That's cool, I got to do some off-roading in it, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, wow, that'll be a great picture if we go down to the beach there. <laughs> I was like, mmm, beach. Beaches have sand. I don't want to ride this thing in the sand, definitely. But that was definitely doable. So you can see, you can do some off-road with it. I'm sure they meant, like, you know, forest trails or something. You know, some 4x4 four four shit. They don't want me riding out on, but... Oh, I don't know, that's kind of, that was kind of hairy going up there. I was like, ooh, that's a lot of bumps and shit. But like I said, you can do some light off-road with this. That's it, that's all. I, you don't even go near sand, you know? Unless you had some kind of dual sport tires on this thing, then I wouldn't, don't even touch sand, dude. Your bike will be over and you have to pick it up and it, it's going to suck. So anyway, this is a, uh, we're riding around the lake. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little lake town. Yeah, there's so many cool places to go out here. I, I, I really like this area. I think that might be Mount Fuji. No, Mount Fuji's like, I don't know. I can't tell anymore. All I know is I gotta get out of here. Mini Cooper. I've seen a lot of those little Mini Coopers here. The Super Duke. I noticed Ducatis are somewhat popular here in Japan. You know what the. Nah, okay. Alright, Hades Mega is gonna vlog about um, motorcycles he's seen in Japan. Like what he thinks is popular in Japan. Number one motorcycle I see in Japan Honda. Honda Fours. Yep, Honda Fours are very popular. You'll see them everywhere. Um, Honda Fours, little Hondas, you know. Oh, where am I going here? I think we gotta go this way. Like Kama Buchiko. Ooh, cool little tunnel. Is this a one way? Because uh, I know I'm kind of scared to go in it. it looks, that's like a one, uh, it's a one trick uh, dealie. I don't know. It was a little sketchy. A little sketchy there. No problem. Got around that car. That was a good thing. 
All right, anyway, yeah, so uh, the popular bikes. Uh, uh, another very popular bike, um, Kawasaki 4s, Naked 4s, are very popular. It was a group of riders right here. Um, yeah, Kawasaki 4s are very popular in Japan, too. And then, Harley Davidson, <laughs> of all bikes. Harley Davidsons are uber popular here, you know? They're pretty popular, man. And it's probably, the Harleys are probably the biggest bikes you'll find, too. And you know, it, leader bikes are pretty not common here. Oh, wow, there's a lot of little lakes here. Yeah, leader bikes are not very common here. And then, I don't know, I don't know what's after that, probably like, uh, I know Ducatis are somewhat popular, I haven't really seen too many KTMs, I've seen like one or two KTMs, KTM's not really that popular here, at least I don't think so. I did see a KTM Super Duke back there though, uh, i seen an 1190 Adventure, and, uh, yeah. Wait, is it a Ducati Super Duke or KTM Super Duke? Mmm, I, I, I forget already, you know. Anyway, uh, what's the, and then like probably Yamahas. I think Yamahas are next, the next popular. Yamahas and Suzukis. Ah, damn it, a bus. It's no fun. Omnibus. Narusawa Shochiko and Motosuko. Okay, anyway, uh, what else? I'm getting off on tangents here. Yeah, so that, I don't know, that's pretty much popular. I think Honda is number one, Kawasaki is probably number two. I, I, it's hard to tell with the Harleys. The Harleys are really popular too. The Harleys have like a super following here. I, I would think the Harley, I would think maybe I would put Kawasaki and Harley right next to each other. That's how popular they sound. Um, and then, then uh, Beamers. Ah, Beamers, yes, there's a lot of Beamers. Old ones, new ones. You know, R1200, the K1200, uh, big, big Beamers. I don't really see too many small ones, you know? I don't really see it like an F800 or anything, you know? I actually don't really see a lot of adventure bikes here either. Uh, adventure bikes aren't very popular in Japan. Um, I mean, like a R1200 is an adventure bike. Come on, let's go, let's go. I can tell it's a, I can tell it's a manual bus. <laughs> He's having the shift. All right. Yeah, so there you go. So uh, Honda won, and we're gonna put Kawasaki and Harley Davidson as two, close, second or third, you know, really close to each other. And then probably uh, Beamer. Yeah, Beamers. Beamers would probably be fourth, is what I'm thinking. Beamers are pretty popular here. And then everything else, like Yam Yamaha, Suzuki's, and all that stuff. Um, you know what? Surprisingly, I, those um, Yamaha Saro 125s seem pretty popular here. I've seen a lot of those here. More than a handful I've seen already, I think. It's a little, little dual sport, 125, eh, pretty popular. So that's, that's, that's what I think is popular in Japan. Uh, and then scooters, of course. Scooters are the whole different category, but uh, yeah, scooters are quite popular also. I see a lot of scooters. All right, here's my go.